Hey, hey, welcome to another video from The Outdoor Analyst. Today, I've got a crazy one for you. This is gonna be a wild first impressions video. And I just wanted to do a first impressions because I'm interested to see where this knife goes in the months and years to come as far as how it holds up, um, what my, when just really, yeah, how it holds up. How do full on custom knives really handle over the long run? Now, I've wanted a CAS knife for years, and finally, DLT brought in, which is amazing of them, brought in an awesome run that is going to be essentially half the price with zero of the weight to get into a custom knife from the Claudio Sobral Brothers. They've done immaculate work. You see a lot of top knife makers in the US going down to try to learn from them um, just to see how they do what they do and um, I'm, I feel honestly just lucky and blessed to be able to pick one up right now so here we go without any further ado when they come in they come in this really a cool little case here and this is the packaging like a little bit of felt lining here you see an awesome leather sheath done by one of the brothers and it is just a really really cool setup uh, this is a stag handle with just some crazy micartas and woods mixed in and gosh gosh I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and open it up here and it's gonna be weird doing this on camera being kind of behind the camera but I don't know if it'll ever really do it justice, how good this looks and how grippy this stag feels in real life. The CAS is incredible. Uh, yeah, wristwatch check, still rocking the uh, Ocean Crawler Loom Rush too. Big fan of that. Um, gotta love the leather on it too. Love that real leather, leather watch band. This thing is just, just really cool. Cool Bowie knife all around uh, i guess i'm right-handed so man this feels better this way but really good grip to it i did not expect the stag to be so smooth transitions so smooth in here and uh this bolster just to feel so good what a great guard mm. very very comfortable in the hand full grip i have xl hands not super long i guess you could kind of choke back and maybe do a little chopping not sure i really want to do that with this knife but then again i don't like not using any of my knives even though this is by far the most expensive knife i've ever purchased and probably still got it for about half price this thing's nuts it is a sanmai 420 i believe uh probably in 420 on the outside and then 1095 is going to be the inside so the sanmai it's man, it's just gorgeous all around cool clip point awesome Bowie mm. it's just got a lot of layers to it there's just a lot of layers they spent a lot of time working on these and it is it's gorgeous love the hammer forging on here being 1095 I, I mean I thought this was 420 on the outside but if it's 1095 you know it'll probably rust up pretty well so I'm gonna have to keep this thing oiled Otherwise, it gets uh, it gets kind of brown. If I had like a lot of Lon Humphreys in 1095, they'll get really brown in here uh, pretty quick, honestly. So, yeah, keep them oiled. That won't happen. The balance on this thing is very forward, very forward balance. It feels like a very <laughs> slicey, kind of choppy knife, honestly. Um, ergonomically, it's really cool. It it is basically set up to be a fighting knife, and it's a little a uh, little pointy up here. You're not going to be reaching over and you know, doing feather sticks comfortably like that for very long, I don't think. I mean, it's going to be a little pointy there. But, um, I mean, other than that, super economic around here. Feels really good. Just, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous all around. If I could afford to buy another one, I probably would just to have one for show and one for beating on. Man, I am interested to see where this goes. How this holds up in the long run. You know, with a lot of use, what's what's really going to happen to it? So that's kind of what this is about. First impressions are, man, I'm just as shocked as I thought I would be. It does seem really, really nice. It seems really comfortable. It is kind of thick behind the edge. It is not super, super thin. So, you know, and, uh, they, that is what it is. It's not as thick as I'd say like a lawn Humphrey behind the edge. But, um, yeah, there's something there. Definitely a little little chunky, but uh, yeah, nice convex on there. 
yeah, I really just I'm pumped to see where it goes from here. That's really what uh, what this is about. First impressions, big fan, forward leaning, super ergonomic, really really comfortable in here. The, the looks gorgeous. The sand my work is just it's just nuts. Um, man, the etching on there is really cool. They're all unique happy with my purchase completely at this point but yet again just the beginning um i guess maybe i'll do a knife comparison here i didn't pull anything out so let me pull something out that's a little close to it uh, here we go let's do some fun ones let's do some some good looking knives here so this is going to be a lawn humphrey uh, gunfighter another bowie style definitely a lot bigger than the than the oryx here but gorgeous, gorgeous still. This is in 52100. Love this knife. Great feel to it. Taking this out in the woods and had some fun. <laughs> had a lot of fun with this knife, actually. Uh, and I can't wait to really take this thing out and start working on it. This is a lot lighter, a little bit smaller. Gorgeous, gorgeous blades right there. Um, what else we got here? We'll, uh, Bark River EXT2 was just one of the first ones I grabbed, so you have kind of a size comparison here. So it's got a shorter handle on it by far, just enough to have one good grip. Maybe you can choke back on it, but definitely a much bigger blade. I mean, a big difference here. I got some extra inches on there. This thing's still super ergonomic and fantastic. Love this knife. Always goes out with me deer hunting now. Um, it's just kind of like a sweet fighter. <laughs> That's what this knife is for. This is just carrying around, uh, showing your friends, I feel like, just at camp. It's just ridiculous. Not one I feel like I'm going to go out and beat on. I have no problem beating on this. Definitely already done it, but this uh, it's just too pretty. So I hope my next video shows a lot of wear on this thing, because if I don't use them, I usually end up flipping them. I just don't like seeing knives that sit. <sighs> Let's hope I have the, the guts to just go and then and, and have fun with it. So there it is. First impressions. My goodness. Huge, huge fan. Love the leather sheath. Very, very light. Gorgeous stitching. Not their, you know, it's not like their top of the line custom leather stuff. You know, you can tell you kind of just slap these all together um, in the same way. But thick. Going to last a long time. Really good ride. Going to ride a little high on the belt. Not my biggest, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that style. I kind of like danglers and whatnot, but, um, you know, it's still good. It, it looks good. This is going to be just fun to carry around. That is for sure. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So right now, first impressions, there's still a few left. Go get them. I kind of want to sell something to go get another one. Hope I don't do that. <laughs> Anyway, um, hope that gives you an idea of the size of it. And then just for me, this is just my own recollection of will I ever buy another kind of actual just fighting size smaller Bowie again? And is it worth doing a custom in that area? Uh, so far, answer is yes. Uh, but brand new to me, so my opinions may definitely change and venture. And we'll see how this 1095 420 Sand Mai holds up. So there you go. That's my video. Thanks for checking in. Hope this helped you kind of get an idea of what it is. I'm looking forward to having some fun with it. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.